Pete, the biggest shot of that game was that step back three that Joe ass made. Please, Pete, just do me a favor, man, and walk walk us all through that, man. What was you What was you thinking when you shot that? Yeah, I, that play was actually from a broken play. Um, James threw the ball over top. I mishandled it, and so it was a, it was going to be an easy layup because I had uh, Derrick Jones playing on my top side. And all I had to do was just turn around, catch, and go up for the easy layup. But uh, I fumbled the pass, and that led the ball to almost go out of bounds. And uh, I was kind of aware of the clock at that time. I think the clock was winding down. And um, I know their defensive situations, right? They're going to tilt and force the player to kind of, you know, get the ball out of their hands because I saw their big man tilting over as I'm stuck in the corner. So I'm watching him. Um, so I was thinking he was going to come to trap. So I'm kind of waiting to see what he does. He didn't come to trap. So I knew it was a one-on-one with Derek. And, um, you know, at that point, all I saw was just the open space and that open space was to that right corner. And I'm comfortable shooting any shot. Like I I can almost get to any shot I want to get to, um, whether it's running away to the right hand, running away to the left hand, I can almost free myself and get a good look. Uh, going any direction. And so I just knew I saw space to the right of me. And uh, yeah, I just hit him with a step back going to my right. You know, it's a shot I work on. It's cash money. I think that's definitely by far. (laughs) And and you tell me if you agree, do you think that's one of the best shots of your career? Like hands down. Uh, It's definitely one of the the bigger shots. I know it wasn't like a game winner, but it, it was a moment, I think right after Kai, took the lead with mm-hmm. that tough layup. I think that was probably the next possession after we called a timeout. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, I missed that shot. Who knows? They had momentum after that Kai shot. I think that definitely took some momentum from them because I don't think we we lost the lead from that moment on. Um, so that was one of the biggest shots of the game for sure. One of the biggest of my careers. P, I want to know because it looked like it from TV. It looked like you shot the shot from behind the backboard. Were you behind the backboard when you shot the shot? I kind of was. I kind of was. So, like, the shot difficulty on that, and, again, this is things I work on. The shot difficulty on that, I had to release the ball a little earlier than usual. Like, usually a fade, I can hang and hold it for a little longer before releasing. But because I knew I was fading out in that corner, the bas- the backboard is kind of, it, it's kind of, uh, you know, more forward so that like you can get stuck behind the backboard and and that ball could possibly hit the side of the backboard or hit behind the backboard and go out of bounds from that angle. Um, And so I knew that going to that right, that I had to kind of release that ball a little earlier and uh, I didn't want to get stuck trying to hold on to it. Now he's contesting and then now I'm in trouble. So, yeah, I, it was it was a little bit like I was a little bit behind the backboard when I made that shot. Going right was the most like I don't think people realize like any shoot most most right handed shooters they want to step back going left just most, but to be able to do the step back and it reminded me of the the pump fake shot because it wasn't like just a clean step back. You almost threw the ball out a little bit like you did on that left side of the court. It was the same type of shot where. You didn't step back one, two into it. It was like a step back, let it hang two feet and let it fly. I don't think people realize how tough of a shot that is going to your right Mm -hmm. with a hand in your face. It was incredible, Mm -hmm. bro. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, buddy. Thank you. He knew that shit was going in. I felt good. After it released my hands, I I did feel good about the shot. I ain't going to lie. I felt good about it. Yeah, it's funny that. Uh, after hitting that corner three, the person I talked to was actually Kyrie's dad. Ah. <laughs> so after I made that sh- that corner three, Kyrie's dad is sitting in that corner. And after I made that three, Kyrie's dad looks at me and he's like, right? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, Pops, I got that too. <laughs> Kyrie actually mentioned you in his post game P and he's like, man, when I see Paul George you know, when those guys get going and he hits a pump fake three, it's like, you you know, you're you're in some trouble, basically. But that he didn't say nothing. You just saw his reaction to yeah, the shot. His, his dad was like, <laughs> like, stank face. And uh, I was like, yeah, pops, I got that, too. 
Get in on the playoff action and win up to 100 times your money on prize picks as you and the world's best players take the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. You can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks. That's, that's four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 with basketball, hockey, and college. Basketball entries today on prize picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Guys, go download the app today and use our promo code PODCASTP for a first deposit match up to $100. I repeat, download the app today and use code podcast p for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars pick more pick less it's that easy 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 